The new reality for marketers is an always-on conversation. So, you know, we've gone from a world where, uh, let's say, you could choose social interaction at any moment of the day, and already you're having to be very alert in that world. But now, actually, the level of agility is just through the roof because, uh, apart from anything else, you could be missing conversations that are happening between uh, consumers and Alexa, this voice universe that's constantly running in the background, um, asking for advice, um, and if your brand's not part of that conversation, what do you do with that? Um, but also the new mechanisms of chat, messenger, uh, just being so important. So for instance, we can see that already, let's say half of Irish consumers value instant messaging as a forum for conversation as much as uh, face-to-face and you know, 20% valuing it even more so. So you know, three quarters of the population using this as a dominant form of conversation and brand Brands need to be able to, to do that, both with chatbots and AI and the sort of automated side of life, but also very much with um, key advisors, experts, people who can come into the conversation and advise on how to use things, the next sort of product recommendations that that particular consumer is going to want. So always listening, always having the conversation. It's, it's fairly relentless, actually, but a great opportunity to engage people on their own terms. New service expectations and product expectations are a world these days of, where possible, um, MVP type uh, mindset, minimum viable product. So you, you launch with something that the consumer can interact with and then you continually uh, deliver a better version of it. So think of Tesla, you know, you can update the software in the car remotely. Now that's a luxury purchase, but um, there are so many other products and services that are designed to, to help you constantly get a better version of what's going on. Trends in 2018 for marketers that I think really stand out would be three that I talked about this morning. Engineered empathy, life in beta mode and uh, latchkey loyalty. Really what we mean by engineered empathy is the ability to listen and interpret the consumer message but at scale. And you know if anything that's the guide to absolutely every other trend out there. You know, Are you really hearing the messages coming back from your consumer and are you able to harness new tech like AI, conversational commerce, um, chat technology to really reach out to each, each one of those individually. Life in beta mode is the idea that we're forever reinventing ourselves and reinventing and frankly upgrading the products and services that we sell to consumers. So nothing is ever finished necessarily. Uh, new versions always creating a new opportunity to have that conversation with consumers. And the loyalty piece is really about the fact that we're utterly put off by anything that ties us into a long contract or, or perhaps something where there aren't constant upgrade benefits. Um, and businesses like Sky are unbundling once very unwielding contracts to essentially give always another excuse to again upgrade or move on to the next thing and always giving us any number of options to either get more points or, or, or move in and out of our services.